Alright, so we've some serious thinking that needs to be done. Oh, let me... Larg, larg, larg. Oh, really? This isn't a weapon, it's an item? Huh. Uh, where's... Oh, wait, here. Wait a minute, what? I am confused. So I'm trying to... It always puts the torch... It puts the... Defaults to the magic lamp instead of the torch, and I feel like the torch should be first. But it looks like the torch was in the first slot, so, uh. Eh? Okay, there we go. That's weird. I guess they're just randomly flipped around. Or maybe not. I guess the second slot is the first slot for some weird reason. No. And, uh, Sam, why not? Right then. Thank you. <laughs> really? The guards are just gonna sit there and watch? Okay, no, screw you. Screw that. You do your job. I'm going on my bloody way. Okay, whatever was going on over there. Alright, got stuff to sell. Captain Wolverstone? Okay. Man. Depends what we've looking for someone who'll sail to Skellige. Oh no, no, crap. No. Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellig. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? I I don't want to do this now. <laughs> Gotta get more coin. You sure do. For I won't even whip me horse in a bath without payment in advance. Personal hygiene. Didn't I already have that quest? Okay, whatever. <laughs> but hey, now. Already had a quest tracked, thank you very much. What it be? What are you serving? I've got junk to sell. None of this. Wait, what's that? Oh, I can sell him the woven hour? Alright. Take these. Cha -ching. The rest of these that aren't worth anything, I'm thinking maybe I want to dismantle, actually. Oh wow, these are heavy. Why did I take these? <laughs> Ashes. Eh. Should probably get rid of those. Oh right, I never went to the bookstore. Grr. this for some reason. Oh, whatever. Just take it. <laughs> Jump rope. Um, that weighs quite a bit. But whatever. I'll dismantle it. 
13, 11, I guess I'll sell this and make sure I dismantle all the rest of this junk. Speaking of junk... Crafting stuff. Does all this weigh anything? No, no it does not. So it looks like maybe I should just dismantle all my junk and not leave it as it is, because then it won't weigh anything. Good to know, good to know. Farewell. Alright, and uh... Oh, hello. That's lovely. And I have a feeling... Just the strangest feeling that I can't actually... get a room, so... Hold on, I'm gonna make this work. Ah, so close. What? Oh wait, was I on it? Oh, dang it. Ah, come on. I'm going to sleep on this bench. And nobody can stop me. Yes! <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Not quite what I had in mind, but if that's how you're comfortable, Geralt. All right. Now let's go see about this Master Swordsman. Excuse me? I said excuse me. Wow, those guys are buff. <laughs> I guess you kind of have to be to work, to work the boats. Anything new here? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. If I take this, will it give me a quest marker, maybe? No, it will not. Alrighty. Okay. Snails come out after the rain. We'll catch them at the race. Fun fact crossing horses and asses, as you probably know, creates mules. What you may or may not have known is that mules are, as a rule, sterile. Like witchers, mules cannot give birth, cannot inseminate or give birth, even with each other. For that reason, mules are often not even considered an official species because of their inability to procreate. So that's a thing that you may not have known before, that you know now. Good for you. Alright, Mr. Hattori. Wait a minute. Does it say what his first name is? Uh, just Hattori. Maybe his name is just Hattori. Oh yeah, people don't really have last names in this game, do they? Oh, I'm Triss Marigold. That's a good question then, though. Why do some people have last names and some people don't? Because Triss Marigold, I think, is the only one who has who has a last name. Everybody else is Geralt of Rivia, Yennefer of Vengerberg. You know? This person of that place. Greetings. How's business? Welcome back. 
And uh, thank you, not bad. How may I be of help? Care for a dumpling? Sure. <laughs> he looks so worried. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad <laughs> to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Another dumpling? <laughs> It was a good dumpling. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? Another dumpling? Just kidding. Looking for a good swordsmith. No one? <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? Really? It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. I see a soul. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Whoa. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad's smithing market? Not officially, though all supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver frequently. Please, God, no more cards. <laughs> Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... well... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... Choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. Hell yeah. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. Ha. Huh. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. <laughs> 
If you promise on that trebuchet, hell yeah. Fine. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark. Near the crane at the docks. Go to the docks after dusk to meet Hattori's supplier. Alright. Where's that at? Oh gosh, I really just said that. <laughs> I hate it when people say that. Somebody shoot me. Alright, so that's that. But we've got all day to kill still, so 